Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler here, along with the former Arsenal and England striker, Alan Smith. Yeah, you come into ground some days and you do get that buzz of excitement, and I've got it here today, Martin. Looking forward to it. <coughs> Scottish football has suffered, Alan, hasn't it, with Rangers' demise in recent years, being relegated, like to almost start all over again. But when they play Celtic, whatever the circumstances, everyone in Scotland stops. Aren't they just? And uh, so pleased to be here because it's my first Old Firm derby, so can't wait for it. The visiting team have been undoubtedly the best defensive team in the division, but that defence will be put to the test here. Well, they've got some good individuals at the back and they've also got great understanding across that back line. Let's have a look now at the Celtic team. Colo Torre replaces Dedrick Boyata, who's been out of sorts lately. And just one out-and-out -out attacker in the lineup. for today's game. Now Brown. Challenges for the ball. The referee had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle. Scott Sinclair. Celtic looking really to click into the attacking side of their game now. He's given the free kick, but no sign of the card. Maybe he just wants to make sure he's not made a rod for his own back with an early booking. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Dembele. That's the way to win the ball back. Joey Barton. Good block. Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky, it was deflected. Martin. Oh, he's going to shoot from here. Commons. Here's Brown. gone out for a throw the good thing about these pitches these days even when we're getting rain like we're getting here it just goes straight and that's a free kick for sure for Rangers and that will be a throw Poor throw, straight to the opposition. And the ball is now with the Celtic players. Tries the through pass. The shot's on! That's a good block. He's lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. Good, strong tackle. Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's a glaring miss. Yeah, he's gone over the bar, but not by too much. Looked like he was going to keep it down there for a time, actually. He does read the game well, this lad. Martin. In comes the challenge. Forest. Martin. And it's right. Oh, he's through. He's got his shot off now. He's kept it out. And they've scored now. And the significance is that they're in front. Well, that's an awesome goal. Now, uh, the keeper's a little disgusted with these defenders because they just haven't come to his aid there after a good save. 
Good look here again by the replay of the goal. And that has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Commons. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. It's a terrible place to give the ball away. Shots off. Goal. They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Restarting at 2-0. Colo Torre. And he gives it back to it. Tackle goes in. <coughs> now Brown. Just working away to try and find an opening. Here's Brown. Uh, cut out by the defender. Martin. That's not even really threatening the goal, is it, at any point? Probably threatening a few behind the goal who <laughs> are watching and if they're supporting him, groaning at him. Yeah, good save from the bloke in Rosette there. But certainly the keeper wasn't overworked. Well, I thought so. There'd be a good chunk added on. It's going to be four minutes. It will be a free kick. Everybody goes, oh, wow, what a great decision. If they don't, well, it's one in a hundred, that, isn't it? And uh, I don't think this player is the sort capable of finding the back of the net from that distance. Well, that's half time. And 2 0 is the score at the halfway mark. with Rangers in front. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. And here's the shot. And he scores spectacularly. Three of the best. He's made them pay. And that completes a wonderful hat-trick. They will be signing the match ball for him afterwards because of a hat-trick. Yeah, he won't forget this day in a hurry. Top stuff from him. That's given them a comfortable situation here. 3-0 as the game gets underway. need to try and get the ball back now goal news involving Inverness it's a second goal for the visitors this could be a chance and shoots and this is a goal well it is the way the modern game is played isn't it this kind of breakaway and they couldn't live with them well if you got pace as this side have you're always going to be a threat on the counter. It's a wonderful finish. It's turning out to be a, a comfortable game, this 4 0. Well, the home team has been outplayed, and the home supported. Very good stop here. Corner. 
for Rangers. The shot's on. And the goalkeeper got a touch to that. Fine save. Martin. Shot's on. He's got his shot off now. I'm not sure whether they'll need it, but it was almost another goal. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Comes in strongly. Celtic looking really to click into the attacking side. Here's a chance! Celtic, they've scored! Well, they were caught out here by this quick counter-attack against the run of play. Yeah, I mean, they had to uh, stick together there and come under a lot of pressure, but with the pace in the team, that was always likely. So we restart again, 4-1. It's not a goal that's going to count too much except in the personal locker of the player who scored it. Um, but for the supporters, I suppose, they've seen their team notch again here. Yeah, they have, but... Uh... It was almost gifted to them because the dominant team had eased up and uh, really were coasting home and gave the opposition a bit of space. The break is definitely on. Shots on here. Out in front of goal. Marvellous tackle. Great work. Craig Gordon with the save. It's their corner. And now the shot. The corner has led to that effort at goal, which wasn't far away. It wasn't far away, and they did well to engineer a few yards of space there. Grancha. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. And here's the shot. He's caught offside. And you see what he's trying to do. It's all about the timing of the run. He can afford to give those defenders a yard or two, you know, because he's quicker than them. James Forrest. Christie. Good challenge here. Oh, he hasn't hit the target. Looks like a change for Celtic. We've got eight more minutes of the 90. Christie. Well, I'll be honest with you, this last few minutes have dragged a little bit from where we're sitting because the game as a contest is long, long over. Uh, all credit to the team that's winning. Uh, I'm afraid not too much credit to the other side. Stopping the pass getting through with a good piece of anticipation. Good pass, getting it forward. And shoots! Hit the post! Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Scott Sinclair. Christie. Never much doubt about which team was going to win this one. The referee has blown the final whistle. 4-1 to find the score. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, you can see why so many people are talking about him, why he's creating so many headlines. What a performance with the goals that he scored. Came into it in great... He's got his shot off now. He's kept it up.
Scottish Premier League. Celtic, one. Rangers, four. Heart of Midlothian, one. Ross County, one. Motherwell, one. St. Johnston, nil. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Rangers with 22 points. In second, Aberdeen with 15 points. In third, Inverness Caledonian Thistle with 15 points. In fourth, Celtic with 13 points. Bottom of the table, Heart of Midlothian with five points. Third bottom, Ross County with six points. Well, these two teams have already played, of course, on match day one. Now they are involved in this fixture in the Champions Cup match day two. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I think there's improvements to be made from both sides from match day one. So let's see if they can achieve that. Our match today, Barcelona against Rangers. They do continue to set world standards, Alan Barcelona, marvellous to watch.
Yeah, they rarely disappoint, do they? They've been at the pinnacle of European world football, you might say, for an awfully long time now. Two changes for Barcelona. Mark andre Testegen starts in goal. Samuel Umtiti plays with Javier Mascherano as the centre-backs. Ivan Rakitic plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. Luis Suarez is the lone striker today. Rangers with this lineup today. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive this team but uh, if they're on the front foot that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems Lionel Messi well this attack has got a bit of menace to it Ivan Rakitic good through pass and now he's looking for some support typified the competitive nature of this game that tackle it's only a throw in Barcelona on the attack looking to play his teammate through that attack was looking good now the opposition have a chance Barcelona get the throw Lionel Messi Sergio Busquets and the attacking now coming from Barcelona gets his foot in there Javier Mascherano. There's a big tide of opinion backing Barcelona in this game. Marvellous tackle. Neymar. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. It's a throw in for Barcelona. Messi takes it forward. Martin. Doing well to keep the ball. Joe Garner. That passing is top class. Well, spoke too soon, I guess. They were moving the ball around nicely, but now they've lost it. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Put them in front. Messi! Oh, he's got his fist to it. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Real Madrid. 31 minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. That's great defending there, stopping that attack be a free kick Sergio Busquets keep you right up to date during this match with what's going on elsewhere and here's Alan McAnally it's a goal for Porto 37 minutes played 1-0 thanks Alan and it's Rangers trying to attack here we oh, could be in shots on here at full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. And the offside is given. Luis Suarez. Sergio Busquets. Ivan Rakitic. Neymar and Barcelona on the attack Javier Mascherano well that is hard And the kickoff for the second half of their second game in the Champions Cup group stage. I well, enjoyed the first half, and uh, I don't think it'll be too much different in the second. 
Comes in with a tackle. On to the attack now. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Samuel Umtiti. On EA Sports very soon for you, the Champions Cup fixture. Barcelona, they'll be facing Spurs away from home. Yeah, high quality fixture this one. There won't be much quarter given. Jordi Alba. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. Messi! It's a poor shot, really, in the circumstances. <laughs> Substitute coming up for the away team. Alan McAnally right on the button to tell us about a goal that's just happened elsewhere. It's a goal for the home team. 59 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. Ada Turan. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes. Half an hour to go. Looking down at that bench. Barcelona want to make a change now. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. How frustrating is this for the other team, trying to get the touch of the ball. Attacking well here. Good through pass. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. Comes in strongly. His eyes lit up at the chance. And he didn't think about the offside. <laughs> no, he's just got to keep his cool and show a bit more patience than that. Into the attacking third. Barcelona want to do something, need to do something now. Well, the manager on the sidelines waving his centre-halves forward. Could be route one stuff now. He can't keep it on the pitch, it's gone out for a throw. And it's Rangers trying to attack here. Came in with a challenge. It was nicely worked until that point when it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. Very weak challenge, going for goal! Sergi Roberto, Lionel Messi. Luis Suarez. It goes out wide again. In comes the challenge. Well, the ball's been deflected out, so it'll be a throw in. Ten minutes left of regular time. It's Miller. He's coming forward with some danger. Still level here. Barcelona looking to force their way into the lead. Well, they're in a good position here. This is how they love to play on the break. Referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. Tackle here. And now the shot! It could have been a really significant shot, that. It did just miss, but for a moment we thought that would uh, influence the shape of the scoreline. Yeah, we, uh... Well, there we are, the game is over. And amazingly, no goals in it, despite all the action. Nil-nil, the final score. Well, possession wasn't everything today, because the team with less of the ball managed to get a draw from this. Yeah, it is.
Champions Cup. Barcelona nil, Rangers nil. Lazio one, Tottenham Hotspur two.